Hello, we're here on the plaza, uh, Sunday morning, Santa Fe Indian Market, with Christina Burke. Christina is a curator at the Philbrook Museum of Native and Non-Western Art. Uh, Christina, you're so good at going around and seeing everything. Tell us a little bit about what you've seen this, this uh, year I mean, at Market. Well, the 95th year of Market, it's another great year. Um, for everything across the board, jewelry, paintings, basketry, pottery, uh, and fashion. That is one of the, the latest, greatest things here at Santa Fe Indian Market. And how many years have you been coming? I think this is my 20th year. Wow. <laughs> wow. And what, tell us about some of the artists that you saw that, that excited you this year, or some of the maybe different programming that you saw that you think was a nice addition to the weekend. Well, this is the first year I, I went to the, uh, the Native Fashion Show. Uh, and this is the third year but the first time that I went, that was really exciting. And then to follow up with some of the artists at their booths um, to see what else they have. So Shosho Esquiro, for instance, but also jewelers like uh, Carrie Atumbi, who's got work in the traveling exhibition, Native Fashion Now. Um, it really seems to be a real trend in terms of clothing, accessories, jewelry. That's really exciting. And I think the artists are challenging themselves and really pushing the limits of where they can go with their artwork. That's good news. And how about crowds? You've been obviously for uh, quite a while. What What do you think about the? Seem like there's a buzz this year. There's it, certainly or? a buzz. It's not as crowded in, as in previous years, but it's nice here on a on a Sunday afternoon. Perfect weather to see a lot of people out and about still buying, which is great. That's great. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you.